Imagine waking up every single morning, cracking open a can of energy drink and making it part of your daily ritual for an entire month. Sounds exciting, right? But what if I told you this experiment could completely change the way your body and mind function, and not always for the better? Scientists have actually studied the short and long-term effects of energy drink consumption, and the results are both fascinating and concerning. The idea of a 30-day energy drink challenge isn't just about extra energy. It's about putting your heart, brain, and metabolism through a test they might not be prepared for. Some people believe energy drinks are harmless, almost like stronger sodas, but the truth is far more complicated. In this journey, you'll discover hidden effects that go beyond the obvious boost of alertness. Some of them may surprise you, and some of them may even make you think twice before grabbing your next can. By the end of 30 days, your body will have left you plenty of warning signs, if you know how to recognize them. So the big question is, what really happens inside you if you drink energy drinks every single day for a month? Let's peel back the can and find out. Most people see energy drinks as colorful, fizzy beverages that taste sweet and deliver a punch of stimulation. But inside, these cans are chemical cocktails carefully designed to manipulate your body's energy systems. The main players? Caffeine, sugar, taurine, B vitamins, and sometimes exotic-sounding ingredients like guarana or ginseng. Each component serves a purpose. Caffeine, the most famous one, is a central nervous system stimulant. Sugar provides a quick burst of calories for instant energy. Taurine, although less understood by the general public, is linked to cardiovascular and nervous system function. Then come the extras, ingredients marketed as natural boosters, even though their actual effects are often minor compared to caffeine. It's this combination that makes energy drinks so powerful and at times so unpredictable. Your body doesn't just process them separately. It reacts to the entire mix, creating a cocktail effect that intensifies both the highs and the lows. And here's the catch. While one can might not seem like a big deal, stacking them daily for 30 days can set off a chain reaction in your body, one that doesn't end when you put the can down. By the way, if you're enjoying learning what really happens behind the scenes of your favorite drinks, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you won't miss the next science-backed health experiments we explore together. Caffeine is the superstar of energy drinks, and for good reason. It blocks adenosine, the brain chemical responsible for making you feel sleepy. The result? You feel awake, focused, and ready to conquer your to-do list. That's why caffeine is one of the most consumed psychoactive substances in the world. But with daily energy drink consumption, you're not just sipping a little caffeine, you're potentially doubling or tripling your daily intake. Some cans contain the equivalent of two or even three cups of coffee. And when you multiply that by 30 days straight, the cumulative effect on your brain becomes striking. At first, you'll likely feel unstoppable, more productive, and sharper than ever. But as your brain adapts, tolerance builds up. That means you'll need more caffeine to feel the same boost. Over time, withdrawal symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and irritability can hit hard when you don't get your fix. So while caffeine may feel like the turbo engine of your brain, running it at full speed every day for a month could mean pushing your mental machinery dangerously close to burnout. Behind the flashy labels and promises of energy, there's another silent player in energy drinks, sugar. Some cans contain more than 10 teaspoons of it, often more than a soda. This surge of glucose floods your bloodstream, giving you a quick jolt of energy, but it comes with a steep price. In the short term, sugar can spike your blood glucose and insulin levels, making you feel temporarily energized. But within an hour or two, the crash sets in. That's when you feel sluggish, irritable, and ironically, craving another can. This roller coaster effect can repeat itself daily when energy drinks become a habit. 
Over 30 days, this constant sugar overload doesn't just affect your waistline. Studies show it can contribute to insulin resistance, higher triglycerides, and even increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Your body essentially goes from managing occasional sugar to being overwhelmed by a relentless daily attack. And here's the kicker. Many sugar-free versions aren't necessarily healthier. They often use artificial sweeteners, which may not spike your blood sugar, but can still confuse your metabolism and appetite regulation. Either way, your body pays the price. Taurine often appears on energy drink labels with a sense of mystery, as if it's some exotic, powerful substance. In reality, taurine is an amino acid naturally found in your body, playing a role in muscle function, brain development, and cardiovascular health. But when added in large amounts to energy drinks, its exact impact isn't fully understood. Some studies suggest taurine might actually support heart and nervous system function. But others question the effects of combining it with high doses of caffeine and sugar. That's because these ingredients can interact in unpredictable ways. The energy blend becomes less about single compounds and more about how they amplify each other. Then come the so-called natural boosters, guarana, ginseng, L-carnitine, and others. While they sound impressive, their effects are usually subtle compared to caffeine. But when all mixed together, they create a kind of stacking effect that makes the drink feel more powerful than it actually is. After 30 days of consuming these compounds daily, your body may not know whether to adapt, resist, or signal distress. And the truth is, science is still unraveling the long-term consequences of this daily cocktail. The first week of drinking energy drinks daily often feels incredible. Your mornings become easier, your concentration sharpens, and you may even feel like you've discovered a secret formula for productivity. It's almost like having a superpower that keeps you ahead of everyone else. But this surge of energy is deceptive. What you're really experiencing is the combined effect of caffeine and sugar flooding your system. Your heart beats faster, your brain feels more alert, and you enjoy a chemical high that convinces you everything is under control. By day five or six, however, cracks begin to appear. The highs don't feel as high anymore, and you start noticing the lows, jitteriness, restlessness, and difficulty winding down at night. The more cans you drink, the more your body demands them just to maintain normal energy levels. So while the first few days might trick you into believing you've unlocked your hidden potential, the truth is, you're simply entering a cycle that's harder to break than you might expect. Energy drinks put your cardiovascular system through a stress test every time you crack open a can. Caffeine increases your heart rate and blood pressure. Sugar thickens the load on your metabolism. And together, they create a storm inside your body. For someone with a healthy heart, the effects might be tolerable, at least at first. But over 30 days of daily use, your heart doesn't get a break. Studies show that frequent energy drink consumption can increase the risk of palpitations, irregular heartbeats, and even higher blood pressure in young, otherwise healthy adults. For people with underlying heart conditions, the risks multiply significantly. The scariest part? Most people don't feel these changes right away. They might notice a racing heart after two or three cans, but one can a day seems harmless, until weeks later, when the cumulative stress begins to show up. Your heart is an engine meant to last a lifetime. Pushing it into overdrive for 30 straight days may be more dangerous than the harmless boost energy drink ads suggest. Energy drinks might give you wings, but they can also take away your ability to sleep. The high caffeine content delays your body's natural sleep signals, making it harder to fall asleep and reducing overall sleep quality. Even if you do manage to sleep, the rest is often lighter and less restorative. After a week or two of daily use, this sleep disruption compounds. You wake up groggy, which makes you crave yet another can the next morning. This vicious cycle is one of the reasons energy drinks feel so addictive. You're not just chasing energy, you're trying to fix the damage from the previous night. Poor sleep doesn't only make you tired. 
It affects your mood, concentration, and even your immune system. Over 30 days, chronic sleep disruption can leave you feeling anxious, drained, and far less energized than when you started. Ironically, the very drink that promises to give you more energy may leave you with less, especially if it steals the quality of your sleep. Energy drinks don't just wake up your body. They wake up your emotions, too. The caffeine rush can increase dopamine, the good-feel neurotransmitter, giving you temporary feelings of motivation and positivity. That's part of why you may feel more confident or upbeat after drinking them. But there's a darker side. Too much caffeine overstimulates your nervous system, increasing levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. Over time, this heightened state can fuel anxiety, irritability, and even panic attacks in sensitive individuals. By the second or third week of daily use, some people notice that their mood swings are sharper. One moment you feel on top of the world, the next you feel nervous, restless, or unusually snappy. This emotional roller coaster can strain your relationships and mental well being. So, while energy drinks might boost your mood in the short term, 30 days of daily consumption could leave you with a mental toll you didn't see coming. Energy drinks put your brain in a state of hyper alertness. Tasks feel easier, reaction times improve, and you may even experience bursts of creativity. For students cramming for exams or professionals facing deadlines, this sounds like the perfect solution. But this constant state of overstimulation comes with a cost. The brain is not designed to operate in fight-or-flight mode every single day. Over 30 days, the neural pathways that regulate calmness and balance start to weaken, making it harder to relax even when you want to. Some researchers suggest that long-term overuse of caffeine can change the way your brain's receptors respond to stimuli. That means everyday stressors feel more intense and relaxation becomes harder to achieve. You live in a constant state of on, even when your body is begging for off. So the real question is, are energy drinks sharpening your brain or are they simply rewiring it to crave the very thing that's disrupting its balance? At the beginning of your 30-day experiment, energy drinks feel powerful. But the human body is a master of adaptation. With daily use, your nervous system begins to build tolerance to caffeine, meaning the same amount produces a weaker effect. As tolerance builds, you may find yourself reaching for stronger brands or larger cans just to feel normal. This is where the danger lies. What started as a single can a day can turn into a dependency. Your body adjusts its chemistry, essentially expecting that jolt of caffeine and sugar to function properly. The catch is that this adaptation doesn't make you healthier or stronger. It simply masks fatigue, while your organs, especially your heart and liver, are working overtime to process the overload. Over 30 days, the normalization hides just how stressed your system has become. So, while you may think your body is Handling it, what's really happening is a silent shift in balance with consequences that may take months or even years to fully reveal. One of the most underestimated risks of energy drinks is psychological and physical dependency. By the third or fourth week, many daily drinkers report that they need their can to start the day, not just want it. This is a red flag. Caffeine dependency develops quickly and withdrawal symptoms are real. Miss just one day, and you may feel headaches, irritability, fatigue, and even brain fog. This isn't just inconvenience. It's your body demanding the substance it has learned to rely on. The more dependent you become, the harder it is to stop. Some people find themselves drinking two or three cans a day, far beyond what they originally intended. The cycle deepens. More caffeine, more crashes, more cravings. So when a harmless 30-day challenge turns into a lifestyle, you're no longer choosing energy drinks. They're choosing you. Scientific studies have put energy drinks under the microscope, especially when consumed regularly. Researchers have found that after 30 days of daily use, subjects often show elevated blood pressure, increased heart rate, 
and markers of stress on the cardiovascular system. Blood tests sometimes reveal higher levels of glucose and triglycerides, which are linked to metabolic issues like diabetes and heart disease. Sleep quality is measurably worse, and some participants report more frequent anxiety and mood swings. Interestingly, not everyone experiences these effects to the same degree. Genetics, lifestyle, and diet all play a role. But across multiple studies, the pattern is clear. Daily energy drink consumption leaves a measurable impact on both physical and mental health. In other words, science confirms what your body already knows. 30 days of energy drinks don't come without consequences. What if you still crave that energy boost but want to avoid the downsides? Nature has its own set of energizers that don't carry the same risks. Options like green tea, matcha, black coffee, and even adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha or rhodiola can give you sustained energy without the extreme highs and lows. Exercise is another powerful natural stimulant. Just 20 minutes of physical activity can increase circulation, oxygenate the brain, and release endorphins, effects that last longer and feel cleaner than a can of energy drink. Hydration is often overlooked. Many people feel fatigued not because they lack caffeine, but because they're slightly dehydrated. Water with a pinch of electrolytes can restore energy levels naturally. By exploring these alternatives, you can still fuel your day without sacrificing your heart, your sleep, or your long-term health. If you found this part interesting, you might also enjoy our video, What Happens If You Cut Out Sugar Completely for 30 Days, According to Science. Since sugar is one of the biggest hidden traps in energy drinks, that experiment will show you what really happens when you remove it from your life. After 30 days of daily energy drink use, the answer is clear. The risks far outweigh the short-lived benefits. While the first days may feel like a rush of supercharged energy, the long-term consequences hit your heart, your brain, your sleep, and even your mood. Dependency creeps in your body adapts in unhealthy ways, and the very drink that promised to energize you leaves you drained, restless, and anxious. Science backs this up. What feels like a quick fix becomes a dangerous cycle. So, is it worth it? Only you can decide, but the evidence suggests that chasing energy in a can is a gamble with your health. The smarter choice is to fuel your body with balance, sleep, exercise, and natural alternatives that empower you instead of drain you. If you've ever tried drinking energy drinks daily, what changes did you notice in your body or mood? Share your experience in the comments. Your story might help someone else make a better choice. And before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more science-backed health content, and share it with that friend who always has a can of energy drink in hand.